What is up, guys? Pie Muffin here, and we are back with some more Trails from Zero. Last time, we got a surprise... Well, we got some information from Grace that definitely helped out. And then, as we came back to kind of sort through everything after finding the blue pills, which our, uh, our good friend Gantz had on his possession... Uh, by the way, thank you, Lecter, for uh, making that situation happen. We came back to the SSS building only to see that Dudley had paid us a visit. And Dudley has essentially handed over the case of the blue pills and the drugs circulating in Crossbell over to us because the First Division's hands are tied because the uh, commissioner of the First Division or just of the CPD in general is in the pockets of the people uh, who want this thing to kind of go around. So... He's being shut down, so it's up to us to kind of figure things out. Since we're kind of part of a different division, we do not directly obey the uh, higher-up, so to speak. So, right now we're going to head to St. Ursula because we do have a good friend in a uh, pharmaceutical doctor, Dr. Joachim Gwenter, uh, who might be able to tell us what these blue pills are actually made of. We might be able to trace kind of where they came from. So, we're headed to St. Ursula now. Oh, actually, no, we're not. No, we're not. I take it back. <laughs> that is what we're going to do after we, uh, not this one. Oh my god, this is so annoying that it scrolls up. We have two jobs to do first before we do that. So, first things first, uh, let's go to the Crossbell, because I got a little bit ahead of myself. I forgot we had some side jobs. Uh, let's head to the Crossbell Cathedral first and see about this, uh, Flowers for a Friend quest. So this video is going to be about these two jobs, and then next time, we're going to head to St. Ursula. Sorry to get everyone's hopes up there for a second. We haven't seen Ren in a while, either. <coughs> I guess Ren is probably laying low. She doesn't want Estelle and Joshua to find her yet. I believe the person we are looking for is going to be in the cemetery somewhere. Let's see, who are we looking for? Old Man Quint. Oh, to the cabin next to the graveyard. Okay, so he's going to be in here. Mr. Quint, sorry to bother you. The police? That's right, sir. We're from the special support section coming about your quest. Hmm, well then. I want you to bring me three different kinds of flowers to place on the graves. Would there be any chance you could take the request from me right now? Yes. We can start right away, sir. Glad to hear it. I'll get straight to the point. Got pen and paper on you? I'll tell you which flowers you need to collect. Ready for the first one? Yes. Tio, mind writing it down? Roger. First, leave us flower. You'll find them blooming near the police academy on the West Crossbell Highway. Second, you have the Requiem Flower. I believe Tally's General Store sells them. Finally, there's the Fainal Flower. You know that watchtower near Crossbell's east exit? They're usually at the foot of it. They tend to bloom near similar flowers, too, so be careful not to overlook them. Once you're done, I'd like to bring them all to me. Noted. May I ask why you specifically want these three flowers? Yellow, blue, and white symbolize the repose of the soul here in Crossbell. Flowers of these colors are arranged in bouquets, which are traditionally offered during funerals. Is this the language of flowers thing? I believe this is slightly different than uh, the floriography, Randy. I assume they are meant to reflect Crossbell state colors. I think a tricolored bouquet was offered at Guy's funeral, too. Um, sir? What's up, sir? went quiet. Well, it's just I'm a bit disappointed that your generation is so unaware of these old traditions. How do you expect to face the future without knowing your roots? Sorry about that. Sorry to disappoint you, but I ain't even from Crossbow to begin with. Hmm, fine then. You know what to do. Off you go. Understood. Yeah, it's a, he's very to the point. He's like, go do what I need you to do and uh, then just leave. Alright, so... We have a few locations to go. To go to. 
Unfortunately, none of them are up where we are right now. They said one of them is over by the police academy, I believe. Uh, yes. Okay, by the police academy. The Levis flower. So, we can just head down. Oh, Je uh, Tally's General Store is here, too. Welcome to Tally's General Store. Looking for anything in particular? Yes, actually, we're looking for some Requiem flowers. Ah, I see. Did Mr. Quint send you? That's right. Did he tell you we'd be coming? No need to. He's one of our only customers who buy those flowers from us. Him and a sparse few others devote other devoted individuals. Wait here just a sec. I'm sure we have some behind the counter somewhere. Phew, I thought we were going to have to pay for pay for him for a second there. I mean, the old man didn't exactly give us any Mira. I don't know. He didn't strike me as the kind of person to pull something over on us like that. Perhaps, but it still would have been nice to receive a little more information about the request. Suppose that's true. He only told us the locations of the flowers. Nothing more, nothing less. Um, pardon me. Something wrong? I'm sorry, but it looks like we're out of stock on Requiem flowers. You're all out? Huh, I suppose that's our luck. I'm terribly sorry. Would you mind waiting for a bit? I'll ask the Bracer Guild if they can pick some up for me. The Bracers? I suppose they would be the ones to ask. Lloyd, why don't we go pick the flowers ourselves? Hell yeah. Why let the bracers suck up all the glory? We, we can do it. No sweat. I second that. Sounds like we're all on the same page. Growing ourselves would be much more efficient than weighing on them anyway. Excuse me, do you happen to know where Requiem flowers grow? Oh, I see. You're planning to get them yourselves? Well, you should find them blooming... Oh, great. Of course we have to go back up there. Blooming on the edge of Maine's mountain path. About halfway down the branching road that leads to the old ruins, if I recall. All right, we'll go, thanks, we'll go ahead and try looking for him. Wonderful, and once more, I apologize for the inconvenience. Please make sure to give Mr. Quint my regards. All right, well, we'll go get that in a second, but we're already down here, so we may as well go down this way to the, near the police academy to get the flowers. Right, the uh, hand stuff. So down. I don't even know if these things will be good XP anymore, but. That worked out. It's still decent XP. I mean, if you could fight, obviously, if I had actually used some real arts and stuff, it would have gone much faster. But, um, it's still kind of nice. Oh? Oh, that looked like a special flower, so... We can't go into the police academy, unfortunately, which means the flowers we're looking for... Oh! Got it! Oh, aren't these yellow ones the Levis flower we're looking for? Probably a real pain for regular folk to pick them because of the location, yeah? It is right in front of the police academy. Considering how far apart these flower beds are scattered throughout Crossville, it's fairly difficult to gather a three-color bouquet. That's why most graves today are decorated with a single type of flower. Three-color bouquets are usually saved for funeral services. Huh, learn something new every day. Traditions must face to reality eventually. Yeah, I guess that's true. So now, uh, we're gonna head back. And I believe we have to go on the east road for one of the other ones. We're gonna do the main one last. Uh, east Crossbell Highway by the Watchtower. The Watchtower? Isn't that like right when you leave uh, from the east exit? I mean, that'll make things easy if that's where we have to go. All right, back to Crossbell. Sadly, we do not have the car anymore, so we can't just zoom around. All right. 
Head over to the east. I wonder what everyone's up to at the Bracer Guild right now. Estelle and Joshua resting, Crossbell Station, Back Alley, and Standby. Which means Arios must be upstairs. Oh, you've all come. I understand you've already met with Hey You Sao. How do you guys keep doing that? Where did you hear that from? <laughs> Information like that will reach our ears within minutes. From what I gathered, Hey You doesn't plan on exactly revenge quite yet, correct? Yeah, it seems so. Still don't change the fact we're on the verge of a messy situation. We cannot discount the possibility of their main headquarters intervening either. It's true that Heyu is a massive crime syndicate with an iron-fisted hold over Calvert's underworld. However, their organization has been split into numerous smaller units, essentially dividing them. As such, I'm sure Sao will be able to prevent the units with intr- Wait. As such, I'm sure Sao will be able to prevent the units with interest in Crossbell from retaliating prematurely. I see, that makes sense. You're surprisingly well informed on their affairs, Arius. I find myself traveling to the Republic on work-related business frequently. Yin may be a dangerous tool in their arsenal, but I never get the impression that Heiyu is a ruthless murderer of the innocent. I'm far more worried about Ravache, quite frankly. Yeah, well, you and me both, especially if this drugs end up being theirs. What's Acacia? Where's that? Uh, I don't recall what Acacia is. I assume it's a building of some kind. Wonder what Wazi's up to. I heard about Heyu's office being raided. Ravache is acting far too recklessly. It won't simply... It won't end with simply taking revenge at this rate, will it? I fear you may be right. Eh, well, it makes sense, doesn't it? If I were Heyu, I'd definitely be giving them a nice little thank you for the present they gave. Oh, wait, isn't Acacia an apartment complex? Somewhere here? Yeah, here. Which means they must be in one of these rooms. Is this their place? Oh my god, this is where they're staying. That's cool. Estella's staring intensely at the shelf filled with sneakers. Okay, just be extra careful. I'm going to go ahead and change my lucky sneakers. Decisions, decisions. The anniversary editions seem like they have better traction, but the limited editions look more durable. Or I like them both too much to choose. Oh, back from the guild already, Joshua? Yeah, they dismissed us for the time being. We're under the impression that Heyu won't retaliate for a while. Oh, yeah, so, so it's an apartment, so obviously they're just renting for now. For now, we've been put on standby within the city, given the unpredictable nature of the situation. Alright, well, at least we know where they're staying for the time being. I mean, you can tell with her stick on the wall. Uh, right, so let's head out the east exit. Let's go find us a flower. I'm sure this quest isn't going to end without some kind of fight. Let's go, team. So I think this game, in terms of, like, amount of videos, is probably going to blow all three of my Sky games out of the water. I feel like Sky Second Chapter was probably my longest uh, playthrough of the three. Definitely longer than the third one. Because um, I think the first one was, like, 56 videos. Which we've already passed at this point. This is the Watchtower, right? Aha! Oh, these white ones are fainal flowers, aren't they? 
This location is fairly close to Crossbell City, so I'd imagine people frequently come by here to pick them. You know, Downey Strong monsters are chilling at a place like this. Regardless, weaker monsters are still a threat to children and the elderly. True enough. Shall we get going? Yeah, these were the monsters we were fighting when we were level 5 at the beginning of the game. You know, when they first let us go outside the city. Which, I believe, wasn't until after the prologue. Yeah, because our Chapter 1, like, main quest was the whole wolf situation. So we headed out this way to head... Well, that feels like forever ago. Which it was. I mean, you look here, we're, what, 54, 54 and a half hours into this playthrough? In terms of actual playtime? Kind of crazy. Alright, so now we want to head towards the uh, north exit, out towards Mains. And we want to head halfway through. I believe they said it's... Let's see. Uh, okay. Offshoot of the Mains Mountain Path near some ruins. So does that mean it's over by where we went already? The, by the Moon Temple? Let's go say hi to the mayor, if he's in. Still feel bad we weren't able to get him his drink. Uh, he is not in. Members of the staff are working hard to prepare the Q&A session following the Deets meeting's adjournment. There's not a moment's rest for any of them. In comparison, our department isn't quite as busy because all we do is maintain the equipment. So he might just be in a meeting then. I mean, I suppose it wouldn't hurt to check Ellie's house real quick. Let's see if we can see Ilya and... Thank you for coming. Harvey, okay. Yep. Alright. As per usual, they are performing. Right, I believe Ellie's house is the second one down here. No one in here. No one in here. I assume this room down here is where the uh, butler guy stays. Oh, well, safe to assume he's not here. Joanna? What's wrong, Joanna? Nothing, my lady. It's just a new edition of the Crossbelt Times was released today, but it hasn't arrived yet. I better go ask about this later. So they have a butler and a maid. I guess that makes sense. Not a very big house for that, though. All right, uh, doll studio, here we come. Yeah, my assumption is it's going to be by the uh, ruins. So let's get in here and head over there. No, thank you. Stupid moles. It says buy some ruins. Hopefully we don't have to go too deep out here. away from us now, which is very nice. I see flowers. Blue ones are the requiem flowers, right? Took us ages to find. I know, right? Imagine how hard it would have blown if there weren't any here. Now, now, you two. The flowers were here, so it was worth it, right? 
yeah, we got the job done. That's what counts. Now we gotta run all the way back. You're actually chasing me? Interesting. I mean, it's always possible that some of them are, like, a higher level than the others. Yeah, you're chasing for some reason. It's kind of cool to be able to look at the whole map of everywhere we've been. Excuse me, Mr. Mole. We're just going to be heading out of here real quick. Perfect. We'll get back to the bus stop, head back in, and deliver these flowers. And then we have one other job to do for uh, Campbell, and that'll be it. Thankfully, we don't have to actually go in the city because we're coming back up here. I always wondered, does holding the speed thing actually make time go faster? No, I'm holding the button. Well, let's see. No, okay, it doesn't. All right, we're here. We're back, Mr. Quint. Hmm, faster than I expected. Did you get the flowers? Yes, please make sure we got the right ones. These little ones, all right. Your efforts are must appreciate, much appreciated, special support section. Just doing our job, sir. Man, getting all the flowers took way more work than I was expecting. Even talons have run out. What, what are the odds of that? Well, we still managed. Sir, may I ask you something? What is it? Uh, it's not particularly common to gather these three specific flowers except for a funerals for funerals nowadays What exactly did you need them for? You're right that there's no funeral at the moment Well, since you helped me pick them come with me. We'll go place them together. You'll get your answer afterwards Well, you're gonna get your answer by going to the grave. What is he talking about? Beats me. I guess we'll see when we get there. That's Shizuku's mother. So is this guy Arios's grand, like dad? Or no, he he might be the father of Arios's late wife. McLean, could this be Arios's wife? On to the next one. Or does he just he leaves them for multiple people? H lies. This one seemed better days came and make out whose name was on it. Perhaps the gravekeeper knows. Here's the last one. Is this Guy's grave? Here lies Guy Bannings. Damn, man. Is this who I think it is? Lloyd's older brother. The reason I asked you to gather those three flowers is pretty simple. I wanted to give them to Guy Bannings and to the families of those who were precious to him. It's only natural to want to show respect to one's closest friends, right? Sir, did you know Guy Bannings? That's right, doubt I could forget him even if I tried. Back when he was alive, he often came to visit me in my cabin. We'd share drinks and stories till the sun rose. I never had a family, you see, so I can't tell you how many times this company saved this old man. Oh, man. I had no idea. I'm starting to understand the nature of this support request. When it came time for his funeral, I felt like I was torn to shreds. Your name was Lloyd, right? So you must be Guy's younger brother. You know who I am? I remember first catching a glimpse of you at your brother's funeral. Then, once I saw a picture of you in the Crossbell Times four months ago, it jogged my memory. <laughs> Your faces aren't anything alike, but I'm starting to see the resemblance. 
<laughs> I don't think I'm anywhere near him yet when it comes to being a detective, though. Lloyd. Actually, there's another reason why I submitted such an annoying job to the SSS. I needed to ascertain firsthand whether you four guys' successors had grown any. And did we make the grade? Well, you finished the job, so that's something. However, you're still rough around the edges. Damn, a bit harsh, don't you think? Ho ho ho. That said, I think the special support section has a bright future ahead. There's a chance you all catch up to or maybe even overtake Guy one day. And when that happens, come back here and pay me a visit. We'll share some drinks, the same way I did with Guy. Alright, I'm looking forward to it. Man, this is just hard. Your older brother lives on in a lot of people, doesn't he? I agree. Through me as well. Catching up to a guy that talented ain't the easiest thing in the world. It's going to take quite a while, I bet. Honestly, that goal might end up being a bigger barrier than taking down the Mafia or Crossbell's corruption, you know? Yeah, you said it. And yet, I will surpass him one day. Someday, I have to. Looks like I've talked your ears off. Time to head back inside. Thanks to you, I was able to pay my respects to my dear friends. I can't thank you enough for that. If something else ever comes up, I'll make sure to contact you again. We'll be waiting. Goodbye, sir. That was a heavy side quest, man. Alright, so now, where do we have to go for this Campbell thing? Campbell Estate Residential... Di okay, so it's, it's just gonna be his house. Let's make sure we do that. Hopefully this one's not going to be as long as uh, this one just was. Even though we did just run around and catch flowers. Or pick up flowers. This is the house of Representative Campbell who sent the request. We're searching for someone important, right? It sounded like Representative was freaking out. Hey, does it matter Moselli Gramp live around these parts? You happen to know this Campbell guy? Well, about as much as fellow neighbors would know about each other. Representative Campbell is an ambitious man, and he's so driven by his passion for politics that he often brushes everything else aside. I see, that matches the way I'd envision him in my head. Either way, he's requesting our assistance. Let's try asking about if he's home. Unbelievable, what a foolish thing to do. You must find a way to retrieve her, Representative Campbell. Excuse me, gentlemen, we're here regarding the support request. Ah, you're the CPD something or other section. What a relief, we were becoming desperate that we'd be willing to scrape the bottom of a barrel for assistance. Just a moment, are you not Ellie, Mayor McDowell's granddaughter? Why have you come with them? It's been some time, Representative. As it stands, I am currently employed by the CPD. I visit you as a member of the SSS today. Is that the case? So be it. Hmm. I suppose the mayor is neutral. Nothing to be concerned about. Then. But, Representative, the Imperial Faction's cunning members rely on underhanded tactics. What if they catch wind of this incident? I'm guessing you're in a position that could cause some political strife, Mademoiselle. Speaking with deep members is always such a pain. To me, Representative Campbell, could you tell us what happened at least? Uh, can you tell us what happened? At least what details you're able to share about the situation? It's just you look so troubled, so. I seem to recall the support request seeking assistance and searching for an important person. Yes, that's right. You see, we've, I've run into a bit of a snag. I suppose I have no choice but to explain the situation to you. We didn't ask for us. But let me make one thing clear to you. This is a politically sensitive matter. The Republican faction has placed, has been placed in a difficult situation. This must remain strictly confidential. Understood, we'll promise to keep this under wraps. We swear to remain silent about the investigation representative. Very well, then listen up. A certain person affiliated with our faction has disappeared. Can you elaborate? It just so happens to be my own daughter. She has run away from home along with our maid. All that fuss just to tell, end up telling us his daughter ran away. By daughter, are you referring to Carla? We were classmates in Sunday school. Ah, uh, really? Well, the representative and his daughter have never been on particularly good terms. Their relationship seems to be entirely comprised of petty arguments. 
However, the timing couldn't be worse. Our main supporter, Heyu, was raided this morning. Dealing with the aftermath has been cumbersome. <laughs> that utterly foolish daughter of mine, I would normally leave her to her own devices during a hectic period like this. However, recent reports have shown the Mafia spats become more dangerous. It's far too dangerous to leave two girls wandering around on their own. Yeah, I'd be worried about your daughter's well-being if I were you too. Not only that, but if this were to be publicized, the Imperial faction could use this as ammunition against me. You can't let your guard down against the, uh, during the, wait, what? During the D. So I would prefer to avoid any scandals. And with that, I request you, the SSS, to discreetly apprehend and return my daughter to me. It all comes down to protecting his reputation, then. Guess that's how these bigwigs think. I already assumed as much. Well, it's clear you're concerned for her. There's a chance she might be in harm's way, after all. Agreed. We understand the situation, sir. We accept your request to search for your daughter. Oh, thank Eidos. Bring her back immediately. I can't promise we'll be able to do it quickly, but we'll locate your daughter and protect, provide protection we, until we've safely brought her home. Very well. I suppose I'll rely on you for the time being. Proceed however you like. I believe his daughter left a note in her room. The note may prove useful in your investigation. Thank you for letting us know. We'll take a look at it. <sighs> Isn't this a two-story place, though? Hold on. It definitely has a second floor, so how do we get up there? I guess there really isn't a second, even though there clearly is. Looks like she left a message in this notebook. Let's see what it says. I've had enough of you and your insistence on only doing as you please. So now I shall do as I please. Goodbye, Carla. P.S. I'm taking the maid with me. Knowing you, you'll surely go hungry when no one's here to prepare your meals. Where do we even begin? The dad's a real piece of work, but his daughter seems like trouble in her own way. Representative Campbell is the type to put his work ahead of his home life. And now I think about it, Carla would often complain about her father in Sunday school. I wouldn't be surprised if a sudden falling out uh, caused her to run away from home. However, the note fails to provide a clue as to where to begin the search. The only detail given was that she ran away from home by her own volition. Based on her note, I think it'd be fair to assume something. Wait, let's read it again. <laughs> this is nice that we have this. Yeah, suddenly. She must have run away unexpectedly. As Ellie mentioned, a sudden falling out may have caused her to run away. She was pretty angry too, based on the note. I would consider that a reasonable deduction. I figure if she planned this whole thing out, the note would have been longer and filled with more resentment. How long ago do you think she ran away from home? I hope it hasn't been too long. Her search will be more difficult if she's gone far. Well, it's impossible for us to tell with the information we have at this time. Let's try and get some more information from the representative before we come to any conclusions. Well, it's time to get out the shovels and start digging up some dirt. We should return here and go over the details once we finish. Okay. Representative Campbell runs a strict household. For instance, he'll enforce small rules like everyone has to eat breakfast together. It's actually quite obvious that his daughter despises such trivialities. I see. His suffocating nature could very well be the cause of their strained relationship. And despite that, she still adhered to his rule and joined him for breakfast. How am I privy to such knowledge? I ate breakfast with him, of course. Between the deep meeting and the Hey You incident, this morning was absolutely exhausting. I had even more appointments in the afternoon, so I came to rest at home for a bit. When I did, I couldn't find my daughter or maid anywhere. Just as I was beginning to think something was amiss, I found her note. Seems like she's the defiant type. I doubt he'd have any idea as to where she would go. Now that we have the information, now that we have information, shall we return to Carla's room and continue to analyze further clues? Yeah, good plan, Tio. Anything 
thing in the house to look at. How, how long ago do you think she ran away from home? I hope it hasn't been too long. Our search will be more difficult if she's gone far. He says that already. Good question. Going by what the representative told us, they probably left this morning. She was present for breakfast, but she had left by the afternoon. I think it's safe to conclude she departed sometime in the morning. We should still be able to catch up with her. Still don't know where she ran off to, though. Think we should ask her friends? Could be they've got a clue or two for us. No, I don't think we have time for that. If we consider the circumstances, there's definitely a place she would have visited. The airport? We know she left this morning without having planned to. Considering that, there's one place in particular she's likely to have had to visit first. The IBC to get money? I think she may have gone to the IBC. Makes sense to me. Our escapee probably needs some dough for her getaway. The IBC would be the typical first stop for running away from home. If she suddenly left, then she wouldn't have much time to pack. The IBC is certainly a possibility. Shall we depart for the IBC then? She may still be there. Yeah, let's get there ASAP. Fair deduction. Head over to the IBC. I doubt she's going to be there. It'd be a very short quest if we found her this easily. I think it... I don't remember if I ever did this side quest, but I think we're probably going to end up at the airport. Because if she's going to run away, I'm sure she's going to want to be out of Crossbelt. So that's probably where we'll end up by the end of it. Oh, definitely not here. All right, we made it. Man, always feels like we're stepping in a whole another, much more impressive world when we come here. I presume the representative's getaway daughter may have stopped here. Shall we inquire with the receptionist? Yes, let's ask Lanfe if she knows anything about it. Hello again, Miss McDowell. Do you need help with anything? Hi, Lanfam. I'm just here to ask you a quick question. Did a lady by the name of Carla stop by here today? I think she may have been with a maid. Oh, you're right. Carla did come in earlier. She told me she had urgent business to discuss with Mr. Croix. Oh, with, Cor with Miss Croix. With Mel? Yes, Miss Croix agreed to a meeting, so I directed Carla up to the top floor. That all happened about an hour ago. Do you mind if we go ask Maribel for some details? Truth be told, we're conducting an investigation. Oh yes, I think you should be okay to talk with her right now. I believe she's currently in the CEO's office. Thank you very much. All right, let's get cracking. Halt in the name of the law. I'm so sick of this. I've been stuck in meetings all day thanks to those Ravache buffoons. Fortunately enough, I don't think their little raid will affect our stock prices negatively. Grr, I almost want to kick down their door and demand compensation for all the hassle they put me through. Your life never seems to get any easier. You can say that again. It doesn't help that father is who knows how many cells away right now either. But I digress. Do you need something, Ellie? Judging by the crowd you brought with you, it doesn't seem to be a personal issue. Yes, there's something I need to ask you, Mel. A woman named Carla should have stopped by the IBC earlier today. Do you happen to see her? Hmm, Carla? Oh yeah, she definitely came here not too long ago. I'm acquainted with her, given that we're both in the upper echelons of society. She claimed she had an emergency in which to speak with me directly. She proceeded to withdraw every last mirror uh, out of her savings account. Damn, we were right on the money. Why did she have to speak directly to you for that, Maribel? You think the receptionist would have been able to handle her request just fine? It has to do with the amount she withdrew. Under normal circumstances, you would need to fill out the appropriate paperwork. Today was an exception. As you might surmise, I am unable to disclose the exact amount she withdrew. That said, it was in the hundreds of thousands of mira. That is an exorbitant amount of money. The truth is, Carla is attempting to run away from home. We've been tasked with bringing her back safely. 
Do you know where she might have gone, Belle? Oh, well, that would explain her rash behavior. Well, judging by the amount she withdrew, I assume she's planning to relocate to a foreign country. That could be it. Is it possible she had a destination in mind? Well, now that I think about it, I recall a conversation between her maid about sightseeing in Grand Cell. Okay, so Lee Barrel. I believe Carla ordered her maid to make hotel reservations there. Grand Cell? Isn't that Lee Barrel's capital city? She So she's ditching this joy for Lee Barrel. She must have departed for the airport then. We may be able to arrive in time. We proceed with haste. We must notify the airport's receptionist. Right, we have to hurry. Sorry to have bothered you. We appreciate your cooperation. See you later, Belle. Ch sure. They sure know how to keep busy. We gotta get to the airport. Before she gets on a plane. Well, the uh, airship, rather. They don't have normal planes in this world. Not yet, anyway. I think it would eventually be cool. Like, obviously, they haven't done it yet, because each game is pretty much mostly secluded to one, like, region. So, like, the first three games were in Libero. It's the Libero arc. And then this and the next game will be... Well, not the next game we're going through, but the two Crossbell games, uh, Zero and Azure, take place primarily in Crossbell. And then, of course, the games beyond that are in their own respective areas. So it'd be cool if eventually there'll be a game where you just kind of have free roam to... Uh, Kind of go anywhere you want. You want to go Lee Barrel? Sure. You want to go to Crossbell? Sure. Like, all that good stuff. All right. I, I keep doing that. <sighs> Come on! Excuse me. Do you have a moment? We have a bit of an emergency. Oh, dear. What is it? You see, an individual by the name of Carla Campbell should have boarded an outgoing flight to Libero. We were wondering, has that airship finished boarding yet? He said, Carla Campbell, if you give me a moment, please. Terribly sorry, but Carla Campbell wasn't listed as a passenger. Are you positive? That's strange. I could have sworn that she should have been on this flight. Me too. There's only one flight scheduled today heading for Libero, right? Correct. And it seems that it's not put far hard yet. Pardon me. Was that your maid? I knew it. You're with the police, aren't you? Wait, aren't you Marsha, one of the maids at Representative Campbell's mansion? Are you the maid that ran away with Carla? Yes, that's right. You see, Lady Carla never intended to go to Libero in the first place. That was merely a rumor she spread to throw her father off her tracks. In actuality, she plans to live in the home of an acquaintance in the Republic. She's going to Calvert? Crap, she must have gone to the station then. If you hurry, you might make it in time. I'm sorry, my lady has caused so much trouble for everyone. But if all possible, please la bring Lady Carla back home. Despite what she says, she doesn't really want to leave Crossbell. She's got her reasons for all this, huh? Well, time to roll. We'll bring her back for you, don't worry. If she's Republic-bound, the train will be departing in a matter of minutes. No time to waste, then. Thank you, Marsha. You are a big help. Marsha, could you go and inform the representative what's happened? You can leave bringing Carla back to us. Okay, please. I'm leaving Lady Carla in your hands. Ugh. Now we'll go to the train station. Uh, Republic is up this way. Platform, the train bound for Republic is now departing. If you are not boarding the train, then please step back from the center of the platform. Wait a sec, isn't that the train on the representative's daughter is supposed to be on? We can still make it, let's get on. We don't have tickets though. Well, guess we're going to the Republic. We're off to Calvert.
All right, well, she's obviously going to be someone alone. We cut that close. Wonder if we'll get in trouble for not following protocol. Officers should be allowed to board trains during emergencies, so we don't have to worry about that. However, the problem remains, what do we do now? The plan was to convince Carla to return home, correct? Yeah, well, we can't ride this train forever, you know. We still gotta drop off those drugs at St. Ursula, ain't that right? That's true. We have not come this far to simply give up. Yeah, I know. The next stop is Altair, located on the western edge of Calvert. We should have about 30 minutes. Until then, let's keep trying to persuade her to come home. Roger, I'm no quitter. You're right, I hope uh, our words can get through to her. You'd probably have the best chance you went to Sunday school with her. We have to find her first. That's her, huh? It's Carla. We finally found her. Now we just have to persuade her to return home. The odds of her listening to reason are still slim. Don't tell me Marsha missed the train. I guess I'm all alone now. Can I handle this? Long time no see, Carla. Ellie, what are you... I mean, what a coincidence running into you here. Are these your friends? Or are you planning to spend a day or two in the Republic? Uh, well, Carla, how should I start this? Don't tell me the father put you up to this. How wrong I was. Those aren't friends. Those are your colleagues, aren't they? <laughs> your efforts are still in vain. I shall never return home. I guess being blunt was a mistake. Tell me about it. Oh, okay. Oh, well. He does it, mate. Why exactly did you run from home in the first place? Judging by the note you left, it is obvious that you have some motive behind it. Well, it's a long story. My father has always ordered me around, filling my life with rules and more rules. Once, he doesn't even respect himself. And this morning was a perfect example of it. I will never forget him for what he did. Which was... Whatever it was, it sounds bad. After breakfast, he walked into my room without knocking. Huh? That's it? Of course it's not just that. What if I was changing? More importantly, Father's always the one lecturing me about how I should always knock. And even though he throws a fit when I forget to do so. This morning, he calmly strode in my room, commanding me to do this and that, and to attend a dinner party in the evening, and, and... He pries into every single small detail of my private life. It's just... It's like he can't do anything but that. I can relate to how she feels, but this is nothing more than a misunderstanding between father and daughter. Hmm, how should we handle this? Your father is in the wrong. I can sympathize with you, Carla. You think so, too? Hmm, I knew he'd leave you home was the right decision. Still, it's the first time I've ever left Crossbell. Uh, the only reason I decided to go through with this was with this plan was because Marsha said she'd accompany me. I think I get the gist of it, but she still looks hesitant, right? She never had the strongest heart to begin with. Sure, she ran out of the house in a hurry, but but I bet with every step, she becomes more and more uneasy. I think she should be at her breaking point. It's dangerous to travel alone. Take this. I was wondering why I still hadn't seen Marsha. No, she must have betrayed me, didn't she? Unacceptable. I specifically ordered her not to tell anyone. Please calm down, Carla. It's true Marsha informed us of the situation. But that's only because she's worried sick about your safety. Despite what she said, she doesn't really want to leave Crossville. Her words, not mine. Marsha, she really said that? I'm leaving Lady Carla in your hands. That was her farewell before we made our way to the station to find you. I think it'd be best if you had another talk with your pops. Instead of running away, won't it feel better to say what you want to say to his face? You may be right. I had started to think that there was no one on my side. But if Marsha is waiting for me, I don't mind returning home. Um, everyone, perhaps could you stay with me a bit longer and let me get everything out of my system? Besides, I need to start thinking about what I should say to father. Sure, we can do that. We should be near Altair. We still have the ride back. 
If you want the company, we'd be glad to oblige. Well, we didn't get to leave Crossbell for very long, but we did leave. Lloyd and the others transferred in Altair for the return trip. Then, 30 minutes later... We're back! It was a long trip out of Crossbell. Sadly, we never made it to the Republic. It's fine. We'll be there. We'll go there in a later game. Phew, we're finally back. It was a long trip in more ways than one. Um, sorry for the trouble I caused. I truly thank you for listening to what I had to say. Hehe, <laughs> please don't worry about it. Who's to say we can't handle consultation? Do you count on the SSS to lend you an ear whenever you need it? Thank you. Ah. Hmm, how dare you worry me at a time like this, you daft girl. Speak for yourself, father. If you had tried to come and find me yourself, it would have been one thing, but to think you hired other people to do it for you. Excuse me, Lady Carla. My apologies, I was just so terribly worried. Hmm, you should be sorry. I'm upset with you too, Marsha. Forgive me. But, well, I'm grateful too. And I count on you to continue to be on my side? Of course, I'd be happy to. Well, thank heavens. I think I finally made up my mind. I have some conditions, Father. You must knock every time you wish to enter my room. Every time, okay? In addition, you may no longer intrude upon my private life. And if you refuse, I'll be hopping right back on the train and I won't look back. Well, you have to stay home and behave yourself for a while first. So, are you honoring my request or are you refusing it? Fine, I don't want to have to... I don't want to be worried or have another falling out. I'll accept your terms. So, this is the power of the something or other section. For the time being, allow me to thank you for safely bringing my daughter home. However, not a word of this incident is to escape your lips to anyone. Am I understood? You got it. Our lips are sealed. You can rest easy. Good. We're leaving, Carla. Hmm, don't tell me what to do. Ellie, everyone, until we meet again. I can't thank you enough for all you've done. Um, please feel free to drop by the house whenever you'd like. We'll welcome you with open arms. Goodbye. That poor maid. I guess that settles that. Even though that took forever, I'm glad we helped them out. Judging by their conversation, I think they will work things out. What a relief. I hope you're right. I pray they'll be able to work out their differences. Anyway, Lloyd, we should get going now. There's still some requests we can finish up today. Yeah, good point. Let's get to it then. Well, we've already finished up the requests. Now all we have left to do is to head to St. Ursula for now. But let's head back to the SSS building to turn this in. And then uh, next time we will head to St. Ursula. Hi, Kia and Zite. Perfect. Alright, so, like I said, next time we'll head to St. Ursula Hospital, and we're going to see if we can meet with uh, Dr. Gwenter about seeing what these blue pills are. So, that's going to be it, guys. Hope you all enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe to our new channel. I'll see you all next time. Have a wonderful day, everyone.